Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. I'm here at Feinstein's 54 Below with... Sierra Vargas. And Julian Ovenden. And we're here for... Together at a Distance. Our new album. Obviously, we're a bit... Now we're closer. Now we're closer. We've got them both here at Broadway World. We could make believe I love you. We could make believe that you love me. I was fine, peace of mind in pretending. Couldn't you? So This was so exciting to watch you two like sing together. What was it like for the two of you? I mean, it was it was actually overwhelming when we rehearsed for the first time because we hadn't sung together in so long and I like just like leaped on him. I was like, "Oh, Jules." <laughs> it was just like I was just so happy. It's just so nice to just be able to breathe together yeah. and to just feel each other's energy yeah. in the same room. Yeah, because we started this project right in the depths of despair. <laughs> <laughs> and we wanted to do something that was sort of positive and something happy and something that, you know, spread some joy. And so this is the sort of culmination of that 18 months later. And it's slightly overwhelming, actually, um, just to have everyone in the room and to sing with Sierra in person. Yes. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's really nice when something like a little thing like this suddenly sort yeah. of turns into something a little bit bigger. Because mm -hmm. like you said, no one knew how long this pandemic was going to happened for and like how long the arts were shut down for but you decided let's make an album right yeah we this this came to be quite early on actually i mean like in the second lockdown i think for you guys yeah, yeah I, don't, I forget how many lockdowns yeah. we had <laughs> yeah. So, yeah we just we were texting each other and we missed singing together yeah. and we wanted to do something and we wanted to create something and this was the way that we never actually, we had always wanted to do an album, but we didn't dream it would come to be like this. Yes, the irony was that we were, you know, three and three and a half thousand miles apart, <laughs> uh, which obviously presented some fairly large difficulties, <laughs> uh, given the fact that we aren't recording engineers or music producers. So it's very much like a sort of home brewing situation. Um, but um, we managed to, you know, we managed to surpass that and, and create something that we feel is, um, it's kind of special to us. Yeah. Let's talk about where you recorded this. This is really in your shoe closet? <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's got a lot of shoes. Yeah. Oh, I know about it. <laughs> <laughs> More than me. <laughs> Tis true. Yeah, literally a, a microphone in my closet because I, that's, this, that's the quietest place in my apartment. Um, my cats, you know, need to not meow on the album. Um, so we have to shut the closet door. So, yeah, I recorded in my closet. Um, Jules recorded... Yeah. In my top room. I mean, if you listen to the, the original track quite closely, you can hear the screech of a New York cab or <laughs> my daughter furiously refusing to do her homework. <laughs> it's very... Uh, <laughs> very it's, raw. It's quite raw. <laughs> yeah, and I had no idea about kind of, you know, computers yep. really, so my 11-year-old so my son helped me kind of walk through basic music production because uh, he knows more about it than I do. And we sort of went from there. Yeah. You have chosen some of the most beautiful duets mm. ever in the history of Broadway. I was like, how did you like whittle it down to what you chose? Yeah, well, we started with songs that we had been sort of known for singing together. So there's a few on there that people have heard us do yeah. um, at Royal Albert Hall or at Carnegie. And then um, just other songs were things that's like, oh, Jules, I've always wanted to record this with you. And same with him. So that's really how the set list came to be. Absolutely. Um, and we wanted to, you know, kind of include that sort of big romantic music from the 40s and 50s, the Broadway, golden age of Broadway. Mm -hmm. But also we wanted to have, have some tracks that kind of retains that 
small scale, that intimate intimacy that we were all sort of feeling, the sort of four walls around us. Um, so some of the tunes like um, So There Was You from The Music Man and Heather on the Hill mm. from Brigadoon mm. is just me on the piano and, and Sierra singing. Um, and we, we kept those once we sort of reproduced the album mm -hmm. and make it sound professional. <laughs> uh, we kept we kept <laughs> we kept those ones because we, we, we wanted that, you know, just that feeling um, the, of where it was made and when it was made. The videos, your videos are so addictive to watch mm -hmm. and they are hilarious. Yes. You're swimming in your pool, you're doing something in your house. I mean, they're crazy. Yeah. See, Jules, it's people ridiculous. love it. It's totally ridiculous. No. <laughs> <laughs> they, it they is got ridiculous. Us through the pandemic, I'd watch all these videos. I'm like, I love these two. I yeah. love that you feel that because that's part of why we did it too, because we are just like a couple of weirdos. So it's like we wanted to do something that's like while we're singing this music and then also just have fun. We had no budget. <laughs> I think that's I think that's patently obvious. I mean JJ Abrams should be very scared, I yeah, think. Yeah, very scared. Um, no, it was great. It was really fun. I mean, you know, kind of deciding on the kind of concept for each song. My favorite um, was the, the kind of love affair that we created between Sierra's cats and my <laughs> aging bachelor of a Labrador. Um, it's true. It's true. That track did not make it on the album. No, it didn't. Weirdly and enough. Yeah. The bonus track. Maybe it's album number Maybe two. Maybe it is. Yeah. 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 But they, they, you know, the cats and the dog have to sign off yeah. on, and we yeah, couldn't get They're very expensive. Them. Yeah. Their agents were expensive. absolutely a nightmare yeah. to deal yeah. with. Great. That's where all the money is going to go. That's right. Well, you well, see. Well, it's certainly not going to us. No, it's not. Okay. So. Let's talk about this incredible record label that you're on. Tell mm -hmm. us about the record label. Yeah, so Concord, yeah. Um, they're, they've been absolutely amazing. It's like a dream come true having them and the, the way they package this and just all, you know, we had come up with sort of a, what if it looks like this for the cover? And they're like, we'll take it from here. <laughs> We've seen your videos. Yeah. We've seen your videos. We have a budget. Yeah. We are professionals. We're professionals. Yes, absolutely. But I think with their history and in terms of the theatrical music that we're singing, it couldn't be a better fit for us. Um, and um, we felt incredibly supported. And, you know, the experiences I've had with record labels in the past has been, frankly, a nightmare. Mm. Um, and this was a joy from start to finish. Mm. Yeah. So it's released today. Today, yes. same day as Adele. Yes. So she Who? <laughs> so she's worried. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> yeah. Who? We've already downloaded this already. We have it already. So all the fans at Broadway World and everyone around the world can download the album on all streaming platforms, right? That's and right. all digital platforms That's today, right. right? That's right. You can anywhere that you stream or download music. There it is. Right. There we are. So the first time you heard the album completed, mm. like what went through your minds? We actually sat together. Remember, we were in my apartment mm. and we put yeah. together the track list because mm. Jules and I came up yeah. with the order and we listened to everything on speakers and it made us feel like crying, honestly. Yeah, you know, when you were so involved in something, you, you're in really in the sort of mind, small, minute detail of it. And then it takes a bit of time just when you step back and you oh. just see to see, oh, but this is what we've created this whole thing which was um yes it, it feels really satisfying yeah. and a really a good really a good um souvenir of, of a time that was um was challenging for all of us was it ever real did i ever love you this much did we ever feel so happy that it was always real. I should have worn green. And I've always loved I you. I wore green in the worst. We could always feel the time I was happy. Too many mornings wasted and pretending I reach for you. How many mornings are there still to come? How much time can we hope that there will be? Not much time, but it's time enough for me. If there's time to look up and the door, Sally moving to the bed, Sally resting in my arms. With your head against my 
your heart.